Alright guys, welcome back to another uh, day of Constructed, ranking up. I decided to try something out a little bit uh, different today. We're actually going to be messing around with uh, Reno Paladin. Uh, Paladin has kind of fallen off from popularity. There's really no real representation for Paladin in tournament, competitive tournament play. And you really don't run because... People on Constructed, Ranked, Ladder, play whatever is strongest. You don't really run into Paladin all that much. So we're going to see if we can catch some people off guard. And uh, it looks like a pretty fun deck. Pretty dust heavy, but I mean, Paladin is probably one of my favorite classes. And the whole point of the game is to enjoy yourself. So I decided I'd kind of mess around uh, with this kind of different deck and uh, try and take advantage of the fact that Paladin has the best healing in the game right now, uh, as well as some of the best death rattles. So I have Nazoth tossed in there with Tyrion, and uh, actually, make a quick change. Instead of Karn, I'm going to toss in Sylvanas. And uh, yeah, no, lots of uh, lots of interesting like draws, removals, the equality, Doomsayer, there's the equality uh, Wild Pyromancer, uh, Consecration, and there's only one of each card, obviously, because Reno Jackson only activates if you only have no more than one any of any card in your deck. Uh, and there's no real cards for Paladin right now that just demand that you take two of them, because the class as a whole right now is kind of weak. And I mean, after last season, Paladin kind of had it coming. They were kind of asking for it. They were too strong. So, let's, uh, let's give this a go, and it's uh, pretty early on in the, the month, so I'm not terribly worried about uh, sacrificing some stars to mess around with this interesting deck, but uh, hopefully we can take some wins off of some of these uh, cheesy decks that we'll be coming up against. better hand. I have to say, Reno Jackson is probably one of my favorite cards to come out in the last year or so, because, like, when, when, when else would you see Hammer of Wrath or Enter the Coliseum, like, seriously, in a deck? It just, it, it gets you to play with, like, tech choice cards that you just, you'd never play with otherwise. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. They're just being a big jerky jerk. Mm. I really don't want to toss out the Aldar Peacekeeper because turn 4 7 7s are fucking stupid, and I really don't have much of a better answer to it than that. And there it is. I'm really glad I held on to that Peacekeeper. So you'll notice there's a lot of healing in this deck compared to healing in other decks right now. We've got Forbidden Healing, Lay on Hands, there's also Reno Jackson obviously in this deck, and uh, yeah. So hopefully we can uh, live through some of the hyper-aggressive decks that are out there right now. gonna kill that definitely ah, and we draw into the equality so we're taking a lot of damage but we do have the lay on hands and the forbidden healing so we can heal back up and 
and hopefully he really extends this turn so we can wild pyromancer or wild pyromancer equality next turn. But we might just wild pyromancer consecration instead of the equality. So that'll leave us with a 3-1 at the very least. He'll have a 1-1? One, one? No, in that case, I'm because that would just leave him with the 1-1 one, one up, and he can still kill the minion that I have on the board. It's not a complete board clear, and at the very least, what I can do... is hit the button and leave myself with a 1-1 one, one afterwards, as opposed to leaving him with a 1-1 one, one that he could possibly buff, or guarantee tr get a value trade for my 3-1, and then I have nothing. Oh dear! Alright. Good thing we have heals. Do I just heal up to... S I could heal up to f 16. Could toss down the true solo champion and that'll heal me up to 4. But no, then I still die to another rock biter weapon. I want to get out of range. Otherwise there's really just no point. So I'm just going to take the turn and heal. Goodness. Okay, so here's here's what happens. I either kill the flame tongue totem or I kill the totem pole. I would heal for two, putting me to 16, or I'm going to take three, dropping me down to 11. So do I want to be at 16 down to 3, 13? I'm going to kill the flame tongue. So... Well, does he have another rock biter? Because that would really suck. Yeah, that sucks. deck like this. Oh well. <clears throat> I feel like this deck would do really good against like a control warrior. It's kind of the only like control warrior, maybe miracle rogue. The only problem is, is that the most common decks right now are temple or dragon warrior. And Yeah, the, the the problem is, is that this deck doesn't perform well against the against the decks that are in the meta right now. So maybe we can get lucky though. Got the equality consecration combo though.
creature or do I want the weapon? I don't want the blade. Well, by the way, guys, I've been wondering, do you guys like the music that I, uh, I play? Should I play something different? Should I, like, should I just leave the regular Hearthstone music up, or... Leave your comments in, uh, the comment section below, let me know. Because, uh, I kind of like playing with music, but I can easily have the music going and not record it. But, if it makes the videos better, then let me know. Inner Rage. Okay, so the Inner Rage tells me that this is probably actually a patron warrior, or it could also be uh, there's a one-turn kill uh, Raging Worgen deck that's out there right now that I actually don't think I've come across yet, but it's actually kind of a cool concept. You basically you use uh, Inner Rage. Uh, charge on your Raging Worgen uh, combined with uh, Faceless Manipulator to deal your opponent's full 30 health in one turn. And it's actually really cool when it goes off. So that's that's what we'll be looking to uh, dodge. Hmm. Three two divine shields, pretty boss. Or four two, sorry. Yeah, like like I said, one of the reasons why I wanted to play the Reno deck is that it's going to let me play cards that I'd never fit into a more competitive deck. Because I want to keep thirty different cards in this deck, so I can guarantee that when I draw Reno, if I have to, I can use them right away. Holy cow, are we actually going to do this? Biggest thing is we have to dodge the combo. Because if he gets his combo, it's just, it's just over. This might be a good board to just equality. Or... Yeah, save the equality. Cow. Are we actually going to win a game with this janky deck? See what we draw. We might actually just take this. I don't think he can do much. Alright, so it is a Grim Patron deck. Slightly less exciting. It's looking like he's gonna execute my Harrison Jones. Let's see, I 
think I'm tempted to quality consecrate this board. But then that leaves me with a 1-1, one, one, and I really want to threaten lethal right now. As well as he can't generate more Grim Patrons off of... Yeah, I think this is the play. With any luck, he'll play his second Grim Patron, and I can Equality Consecrate. the Kodo and pass. Oh, hello. Well, he doesn't have much else to kill me with, so now's the time. Get out of here! He gained a lot of health off of that, uh, off of that armor smith, but I think it's okay. The biggest thing with Grim Patron is surviving his uh, his patrons, and uh, he's already used up Romash, one of his uh, Grim Patrons. He's used up a lot of his uh, his kill switches already. gonna play the lay on hands for the draw because I don't really have many answers right now. Reno Jackson always good. Another good turn ahead of us. Let's see, how are we doing for draw? He's still got another battle, like, he's still got more draw cards. I don't feel really bad drawing more, especially since I don't think we're going to go to fatigue. And if we do go to fatigue, I believe I still have a slight advantage over him. Oh, funny little uh, trivia for you. The the girl who sings this song is actually, uh, if any of you saw The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, uh, the Jim Carrey version. This is a uh, little Cindy Lou Who, the little button nose cute girl, went on to uh, start up her own band, and it's actually pretty fucking awesome. Alright, I don't think I'm pretty sure Patron does not run Brawl. So I'm going to go ahead and elect not to play around it right now. Awesome. So there's a second Grim Patron. Whatever he does, I can probably clear this. Enter the Coliseum. Be pretty awesome here. Or 
I can just kill him. GG. We actually took a game. And against Patron Warrior, nonetheless. actually kind of feeling this deck right now. I'm going to do one more game for the video before I end this. So this is most likely a, a Temple Mage. That's what I've come up against most when I've played Mages. It's very rarely been anything else. The Freeze Mage has kind of gone the way of the Dodo lately. At least on ladder. Which is unfortunate because Freeze Mage is definitely my favorite. I think the Infested Torrent is the way to go. Hmm. So normally I wouldn't, in other decks I wouldn't waste Humility on a 3-2, but this deck, I don't have a, a very apparent answer to this board yet, so I'm just going to try and stem the life loss for as long as I can. Also, keep in mind, guys, that I made this deck on a whim, so I don't really know. Like, I made this deck literally 10 minutes ago. I'm not 100% sure what the uh, proper plays are in different situations. I am learning with you guys. Consecration or Equality would be super dank right now. No, that's okay. Well, if we can stabilize this board, then hopefully we can come back from this uh, aggression. It's not looking great right now, though. Worst thing we could draw right now is a weapon. Like that. Uh, alright. Try and heal up. Nice. Risk it, and I'm just gonna hit the hero, the button. I don't want to play the Wild Pyromancer because against this board, it's a possible board clear that I can draw into, and I only have the one pile Wild Pyromancer in my deck. Interesting. I don't know why you trade into that when you have. Oh, hello. <laughs> that 
that was thoroughly satisfying. Get fucked! turn I can heal up. Unless he pings my Cooper of Uldemon. That would be unfortunate. Two most obvious choices that I see here is Hero Power, Justicar True Heart, Hero Power, and Trade In. But I do lose to Reach there, so I'm going to go ahead and Ragnaros here. I'll also drop down the Loot Hoarder. Definitely kill that. And I'll save the weapon. Live, insect! Catalyst Tomb. Soon. Soon I get to play with you. I finally got a Catalyst Tomb. I've been trying to get one. I've been trying to get a playset of them since Whispers of the Old Gods came out, and I've probably opened just shy of a hundred Whispers of the Old Gods packs, because I pre-ordered the seven packs when the set came out. So I opened 50 packs there. And I've probably, with gold, I've bought nothing but Whisper of the Old Gods packs. And I just have not been able to get my damn hands on one. And then, after reaching rank 4 last month, I actually got a Golden Catalyst Tomb. So, fuck yeah. So there might be some Reno or some Freeze Mage coming up, videos coming up soon, because I've been looking for a Kabbalist Tomb so I can make a deck like that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that alive. This deck's actually not working out half bad. Basically, if I can survive, like, the early aggro and, like, stabilize the board, I have a hard time, I find, giving it up. Ragnaros is putting in work, so... You know what? I'm just gonna turn this off. Yeah, you know what? I actually really like this deck. Like, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And I'm winning some games. There we go, guys. Alright, 